I'm Tiffany. Today, I'm going to show you how to add and subtract decimals. Adding and subtracting decimals. When adding and subtracting decimals, you want to be sure to line up both numbers by their decimals to make sure that you solve for the correct number. Let's jump into example number one. Example number one. I have one and two tenths plus six tenths. What I'm going to do, just like my last slide said, I'm going to stack these numbers on top of each other by their decimal. So I have one and two tenths, and I have six tenths. Now I can add like normal. 2 plus 6 is 8. My decimal comes directly down. 1 plus 0 is 1. My answer to example number 1 is 1 and 8 tenths. Let's move on to example number 2. Example number 2. We have 5 and 21 hundredths and 3 and 25 thousandths. Again, I'm going to line the numbers up, stacking the decimals directly on top of each other. 5 and 21 hundredths. And then I have 3. Write my 0, 2, 5, and 25 thousandths. I'm going to write my addition sign and draw my line. For this example, because our numbers don't have the same amount of digits, I'm going to fill in this top number with an extra zero. This zero is acting as a placeholder and it's going to help me make sure I keep my numbers lined up. Zero plus five is five. One plus two is three. Two plus zero is two. Bring down my decimal. 5 plus 3 is 8. The answer to example number 2 is 8 and 235 thousandths. After we filled in our 0 into the empty space, it made adding very simple. It's just like a regular addition problem. Let's move on to example number 3. Example number 3. I have 24 and 7 hundredths and I'm adding it to 175 ten thousandths. I'm going to start off by stacking the numbers directly on top of each other considering the place value like I've done before. I have 24 and seven hundredths. My zero goes here this time instead of directly under the two because this zero is written in the ones place. The decimals need to be lined up so I know that I should only start one space in. The zero here and the four here are both in the same position so they should be lined up on top of each other not the zero put under the two. The two is in the tens place. Both the four and the zero are in the ones place. I'm going to write my decimal in. Now I'm going to fill in the rest of my number. 0, 1, 7, 5. For this example, I have more than one place that is missing a number. So I'm going to fill in a 0 for all of those places. I'm putting in a 0 here and two zeros here. Now I'm going to add like normal. 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 7 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 0 plus 0 is 0. Bring my decimal straight down. 4 plus 0 is 4. And 2 plus 0 is 2. My answer to example number 3 is 24 and 875 ten thousandths. Let's move on to example number four. Example number four. I have 899 hundredths 
and I'm subtracting this time. We're subtracting 1 in 54 hundredths. Again, we're going to line our numbers up by the place value. That means the decimals should be directly on top of each other. So I have 8 and 99 hundredths. And I have 1 and 54 hundredths. I'm subtracting. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. Bring my decimal straight down. 8 minus 1 is 7. The answer to example number 4 is 7 and 45 hundredths. Let's move on to example number 5. Example number 5. Again, we're stacking our numbers directly on top of each other. I have a 9. I have 5 hundredths. I'm going to subtract 4 and 26 thousandths. Draw my line. I need to fill in a zero here. Again, we're subtracting. You need to know your rules for subtraction. If you don't, go check out my subtraction video. I have a subtraction of two and three digit numbers and I also have a subtraction with zeros video. I can't take six from zero, so I have to cross out this zero and turn it into a 10. Now if I subtract here, this becomes a four. To make this number a 10, I had to borrow over here, so the 5 becomes a 4. Now I can subtract here. 4 minus 2 is 2. 0 minus 0 is 0. Bring my decimal straight down. 9 minus 4 is 5. The answer to example number 5 is 5 and 24 thousandths. Let's move on to our final example, example number six. We have 13 and 7 tenths. I'm going to rewrite that. And we have 26 hundredths. We're subtracting again. I need to fill in with zeros. I can't take six from zero, so I need to cross out this zero and turn it into a 10. Now I can subtract this and I get four. To make this a 10, I had to borrow from this seven, so it became a six. Six minus two is four also. Bring my decimal down. Three minus zero is three. And one minus zero is one. The answer to example number six is 13 and 44 hundredths. That's my last example. Thanks for watching.